Item number, SCP-3450. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. The flash drive containing SCP-3450 is to be kept in a standard, low-value containment locker at Site-73. Foundation personnel embedded within the fanfiction community are to monitor the internet for further instances of SCP-3450. Addendum 511-2017 Following the discovery of SCP-3450 secondary effect by junior researcher Rivera, Direct access to SCP-3450 is to be restricted to D-Class personnel. Description SCP-3450 is a text document containing a work of fanfiction featuring characters from the Kirby video game series. SCP-3450 was originally posted on the site .net, where it was discovered by Foundation agents following numerous, often contradictory reports of intellectual property theft by readers. SCP-3450's anomalous properties manifest in the second chapter of the document. When any individual views this portion of SCP-3450, one original character created by the reader in an existing fictional narrative will appear in the document and participate in the events of the story. In all recorded cases, this character appears as an ally to King DDD, a primary antagonist in the Kirby franchise. After a brief combat sequence, the character is inhaled and consumed by the protagonist, who then replicates one or more of the character's defining characteristics. SCP-3450 has not been observed to manifest the same original character more than once. Addendum 511-2017 SCP-3450 has been demonstrated to possess a secondary anomalous effect, which only manifests after repeated readings of SCP-3450. Details are available in Document 3450-01. View Document 3450-01. Access granted. The following is an abbreviated version of the testing log of Junior Researcher Rivera. Full documentation is available from Site Director upon request. Date, 4-4-2017. Summary. Initial testing of SCP-3450 SCP-3450 excerpt All of a sudden, a beautiful unicorn jumped out from behind the bushes. Ha ha ha, said DDD. You will never defeat my number one henchman, Sugarcoat, the magical unicorn princess. The unicorn shot a beam of candy magic at Kirby, but he didn't get turned to candy because he had some more health left and didn't die. Then all of a sudden, Kirby ran up to Sugarcoat and sucked her up with his breath. He swallowed her and started shooting candy lasers at DDD. Ah, said DDD as he ran away, but the laser hit him and he got turned into a gummy DDD. Kirby ate the gummy DDD and thought it was very tasty. Remarks The abilities manifested by Sugarcoat in SCP-3450 appear to coincide with those she exhibited in the original documents, as far as I can remember. At this point, it is unclear if the literary quality of the work is innate, or if it is an attempt to simulate my own writing style when I was… what? Seven? Eight? Rather than dredge up more of my childhood… embarrassments… creations. I intend to write additional characters specifically designed to test the limits of SCP-3450's anomalous capabilities. Each subsequent test of SCP-3450 will be preceded by the composition of one short story featuring said character. On another note, here's my first official assignment as a Foundation researcher. The first of many to come, I hope. Date: 4-5-2017 Summary: Testing of SCP-3450's self-awareness. Character created: Jennifer Harwell, 29-year-old author. Subject is the protagonist in a heavily metafictional narrative in which she is aware of her fictional status. Subject is described as being capable of modifying her reality by directly interacting with the text comprising her existence. SCP-3450 excerpt. All of a sudden, a woman jumped out from behind the bushes. Ha ha ha, said DDD. You will never defeat my number one henchman, Jennifer Harwell. 
Jennifer got out a pencil and wrote in the story, Kirby tripped on a rock and got hurt. All of a sudden, Kirby tripped on a rock and got hurt. Jennifer laughed, but while she was laughing, Kirby ran in and sucked her up. After he swallowed her, he realized there were words all around him. He erased the part where I said he got hurt and wrote, Kirby ate a Maxim tomato and got healthy. Then he wrote dead right before where I said DDD in the second sentence, so now DDD was dead and Kirby won. Remarks SCP-3450 is indeed capable of recognizing its nature as a work of fiction. Furthermore, the writing style appears independent of the source material. Date 4-6-2017 Summary Testing of SCP-3450's Intelligence Character created Dr. Syed Khan, 62-year-old physicist. Subject is a highly decorated Cornell professor and Nobel laureate specializing in particle physics phenomenology. Subject delivers a 38-page monologue summarizing modern developments in quantum gravity at a postgraduate level. SCP-3450 excerpt. All of a sudden, a man jumped out from behind the bushes. Ha ha ha, said DDD. You will never defeat my number one henchman, Syed Khan. The man got out a chalkboard and started writing equations. There was so much science that Kirby's head started to hurt all of a sudden, but Kirby closed his eyes and sucked up Dr. Khan. When he swallowed, he had a super smart science brain. He said some big physics words like proton and caused a particle beam. The beam hit DDD and defeated the boss. Remarks I really don't know why I expected anything different. Superfluous test omitted. Date. 4-20-2017 Summary. Further testing of SCP-3450. Character created. Thermodynamic Man. 31-year-old crime fighter. Subject is capable of adding or removing heat to nearby objects at an approximate power of 350 kilowatts. SCP-3450 excerpt. All of a sudden, a man in a cape jumped out from behind the bushes. Ha ha ha, said DDD. You will never defeat my number one henchman, Thermodynamic Man. The caped man reached out his arm, and all of a sudden, Kirby's temperature started going way up. Kirby jumped to the side to get out of the man's range, then sucked him up into his stomach. Then Kirby swallowed him and started using his heat powers on DDD but he jumped in a river to cool off. So Kirby cooled the water down until it froze and hit the frozen DDD with a supercharged attack to beat the level. Remarks. On further inspection, this didn't really tell us anything we didn't already know. It fights, it gets eaten, it gets copied, the end. Either we're running out of meaningful tests, or I'm getting a bad case of writer's block. I'll see what I can come up with next time before I pass judgment on this. Date 4-21-2017 Summary Further testing of SCP-3450 Character created Korgul, Orc Berserker of the Northern Wastelands SCP-3450 excerpt All of a sudden, a big green orc jumped out from behind the bushes. Ha ha ha, said DDD. You will never defeat my number one henchman. Korgul the Berserker. The orc swung his heavy axe at Kirby, who dodged the attack by the skin of his teeth. Korgul swung again and again, but Kirby jumped out of the way every time. All of a sudden, Kirby saw his opening. He sucked up the orc and swallowed him to get his axe powers. He swung at DDD, who tried to dodge like Kirby did, but he was way too slow and fat. DDD took massive damage and fell over dead. Remarks Another dud. I think the story is really starting to get to me. Even in my other assignments, I can't seem to contribute the way I used to. I can still handle facts and data just fine, but lateral thinking is a struggle. I think I'm going to take some time off for a while, just to get my mind back on track. Hopefully it'll be enough time to come up with another useful test for this god-awful fanfiction. Date. 5-8-2017 Summary Further testing of SCP-3450 Character created Larry Plotter, 11-year-old apprentice wizard 
SCP-3450 excerpt. All of a sudden, a boy jumped out from behind the bushes. Ha ha ha, said DDD. You will never defeat my number one henchman, Larry Plotter. The boy shouted a spell, and a beam of magic shot out of his wand right at Kirby. When the spell hit, all of a sudden Kirby became super dizzy. He tried to suck up Larry, but he missed and inhaled a rock instead. He turned and spat the rock at Larry, who was stunned long enough for Kirby to get his balance back and suck up the wizard. After he swallowed, he cast a spell at DDD to turn him into a harmless frog. Remarks. Larry Flotter. I spent two whole weeks thinking of a new character, and all I can come up with is Larry freaking Plotter. What the hell is wrong with me? I don't think it's just simple writer's block anymore. It's more like... There's nothing left to block. Like, the story has just sucked me dry of everything I have to give until there's nothing left. I can't write, can't work, can't think, can't do anything except to watch all my originality slip away. I am so sick of this goddamn story. Sick of this goddamn puffball and this goddamn penguin and this goddamn all of a sudden every other goddamn sentence. I am going to try this one last time. And if it still doesn't work, I don't know. Date, 5-9-2017. Summary, test failure. Character created, not available. SCP-3450 excerpt, not available. Remarks, I couldn't do it. I stayed up all night trying to make something new, but nothing worked. When I got to work today, I opened up SCP-3450 scrolled past chapter one, and it just ended. Nothing there. I feel like... I feel like... Shit, I can't even think of a metaphor. I don't know what to do. View Addendum 525-2017 Access granted. On 5-24-2017, junior researcher Rivera was released from Foundation employment due to a lack of productivity and problem-solving aptitude. Attached is a memorandum from Site Director addressing the incident. Dear Dr. Rivera, if you're reading this, Dr. Evans has just informed you that we're letting you go. I assume he's gone over all the details. Benefits, severance pay, amnesticization, that sort of thing. I asked him to give you this message, since I think your circumstances warrant an explanation, even if you won't remember it. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this. The eagerness you used to bring to the lab reminded me of myself when I was in your position. I had so much confidence in you. But you haven't contributed to any of your assignments in weeks, and we both know your condition isn't getting any better. We're up against some of the weirdest stuff the universe has to throw at us, and there's only enough room here for those clever enough to deal with it. This isn't easy, and it isn't fair, but it's what has to be done. We're sorry, Valeria. We all wish you the best. <laughs>